Hello, my name is Victoria and in this video I'll show you how to customize a WordPress theme. Let's go! A WordPress theme is a collection of files that determines your site's appearance and functionality, but sometimes it doesn't include all the features you may be looking for. Instead of creating another one from scratch, you can customize an existing WordPress theme. There are several ways to do it, from using a built-in WordPress tool to editing the theme's code, and I will teach you each of these methods starting with the site editor. The simplest way to customize your WordPress theme is by using the WordPress site editor. This feature lets you tweak theme templates for the homepage, posts and pages without touching a single line of code. To access it, you will need to use WordPress 5.9 or newer. If you are still using an older version, watch the video I linked in the card to learn how to update it. You will need a blog-based theme like 2022, which I will use in this tutorial. Let's now access the site editor. Go to WordPress admin dashboard, select appearance, then editor. I will use the homepage template available on the 22 theme as an example. Let's start by customizing the site's header. Click the current image to access the block design tools. Since I want to highlight the image, I will change its alignment to full width. We also have the option of adding text over the image, which is great for adding a slogan. We can also adjust the text color and background to fit the rest of the page, and keep doing this to all elements on the page. Would like a smaller heading? Select the heading block to tweak the font type, color and adjust the margin as you see fit. Quickly arrange the layout elements by dragging them by this six dot button on the toolbar and dropping them in the different location. If you want to make changes to the entire site design, click the icon at the top right corner to open the global style panel. To add new elements, open the block library by clicking the plus button. All you have to do is select a block, drag and drop it into the block editor. To make the design process even quicker, you can also use block patterns to create a more complex and consistent structure for your pages. Select Patterns tab you will see all the available block pattern. Click the drop-down menu to filter the different categories such as Featured, Buttons and Gallery. Once you find a fitting option, drag and drop the block pattern or click to insert it into the page. Check the customization options for each block by selecting them or click on the group box to personalize the whole pattern, such as adjusting its dimensions or adding a border. Add as many patterns as needed or remove them by right-clicking the group box, selecting the three vertical dots and clicking remove. Once you're done with the customization, click save. Another flexible way to customize your WordPress website without coding is by using a page builder. Page builders offer real-time website editing with a drag and drop interface so you can see how your content will look as you work on it. To edit your theme with the page builder, you need to install a plugin first. Go to your WordPress dashboard, select Plugins and click Add New. For this tutorial, I'll use Elementor. Once the installation is complete, activate the plugin. Next, let's open the post or page we want to edit. You'll see a button saying Edit with Elementor. It will open the Visual Editor, which contains a wide range of customization options. Add elements to your site by selecting the widgets on the left side panel. You'll find basic elements like images and paragraphs, and more advanced options like login pages, navigation menus, and WooCommerce product pages. If you're running an online business with a physical location, you can give visitors directions to your store or office by embedding a Google Maps widget. Select the widget and drag it to the page. Click the Edit button to open the editor. You can define a location, adjust the map size, and control its zoom level. There are also advanced widgets, but they are only available on the premium versions, so you need to spend extra to access all the customization options. For more elaborate steps on using this page builder, check out our video tutorial on how to make a homepage in WordPress using Elementor linked in the card. The third way to customize your WordPress site is via the built-in theme customizer. This feature offers a wide range of customization options that vary from theme to theme. I'll use the 2021 as an example. The customizer offers the option to change the background colors, select a background image and turn on the dark mode. Note that this feature will be hidden for block-based themes as they already have the block-based editor. 
to access the theme customizer, go to your WordPress admin dashboard, select Appearance and then Themes. You'll see a list of installed themes. Select Customize to open the customizer interface. On the left panel, you'll see a list of customization categories from adjusting the background image to adding a navigation menu. Let's say you want to change the site's logo. To do that, select Site Identity and click Change Logo. You can either select an image from the media library or upload a file from your computer. You can also alter the site's title and tagline or remove them altogether. Want to improve your site's navigability and make your brand look more professional? Add a site icon to display in bookmark bars and browser tabs. That way, if the visitors have a lot of tabs open, they can easily identify your site and switch between tabs. To quickly edit an element, click the blue pencil icon and the corresponding control menu will open. You can also check how your site will look on different devices to ensure the theme is mobile friendly. And once you are done with the customization, activate the theme. If you use custom WordPress themes or want more control over the process, you can also tweak the theme's code. With WordPress Theme File Editor, you can modify theme files straight on the dashboard. But I recommend this method for users who are comfortable working with CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. To access the theme editor, click Appearance, then Theme File Editor. If you are using a block-based theme, the theme file editor is located within Tools. On the panel on the right side, you will see all the theme files. Click on desired file to see its content and start editing it. You can also edit the styles.css file to modify the theme's visual appearance, including fonts, colors, and layouts. To tweak the theme's features and functionalities, edit the functions.php file. Once you're done, click the update file button. But keep in mind that WordPress doesn't let users save the file if there are syntax errors. To help you fix it, WordPress will indicate where the error is located. If you use Hostinger, you can edit WordPress theme files via the file manager. This method also requires coding, so I recommend it for more advanced users. To edit theme files using the file manager, log into each panel, go to Hosting and click Manage. Next, select File Manager. Open the public HTML folder. All website files that are visible to visitors are kept here. Select WP Content and click Themes folder. Then, double-click the theme you want to edit. Here, you will see a list of files that make up the theme, including the styles.css and the functions.php files. Double-click the file to open the text editor and start editing. Once you're done, click the Save button. That said, editing your WordPress theme files has a drawback, whether you do it via the theme editor or the file manager. When the theme is updated, you will risk losing the changes you have made. To overcome that problem, I recommend installing or creating a child theme. A child team stores its style.css and functions.php files in a separate directory. That way, when the parent team gets updated, you won't lose any customization. So, this is a risk-free alternative to customize the WordPress team for those who don't want to make changes to the parent team. There are several ways to set up a child team. You can create new folders containing styles.css and functions.php file via the file manager. Alternatively, you can install a plugin that will do the job for you. For example, the Child Team Configurator plugin. For a more in-depth explanation, check out our tutorial on what is a Child Team, where we also give tips and tricks for creating one. While you can almost fully customize a WordPress theme, this process has a few risks. For example, if you are not careful editing the theme's original code, you may crash your website. To prevent and minimize possible risks, there are a few precautions we can take. First, create a backup of your site before customizing any WordPress theme. This is especially important if you are making significant edits. If something goes wrong, you can always restore the site to a previous version. That way, you can continue where you left off without redoing everything from scratch. A full website backup is not always necessary. If you are just editing the stylesheet.css file, creating a backup for that file is enough. If error occurs, you can upload the backup file to override the changes. 
The next tip is to use staging environment, which is basically a duplicate of your site. If you have a staging environment, you can test and preview edits you have made to the WordPress theme before publishing them. At Hostinger, for example, we offer a staging environment for business shared WordPress Business and Pro and cloud hosting plans. To access it, go to Hosting, then WordPress, select Staging and click Create Staging. When you are satisfied with the changes, ensure everything is working properly. Then go back to the Staging section, click the Options button and select Publish. Alternatively, use a plugin like WP Staging. It will generate the clone site's URL. All you need to do is log in and start editing the theme. And there you have it. You have learned many different ways to customize your WordPress theme. Now, which one you will try first? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. For more WordPress related videos, subscribe to Hostinger Academy. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey.